Hello everybody, we're back with another pot today. Um, and this pot I made in the morning and uh, I sort of messed it up. Uh, I was getting ready to go somewhere today and I, I think I was in a little bit of rush and I messed this pot up, but actually I don't think it's much of a mess up. I went a little bit too thin when I was doing my uh, the drastic pull. And when I was doing that, uh, it ended up poking a hole through the from the interior to the exterior. And I think this is something I need to get a little bit more comfortable with doing, actually, is because my pots aren't really, uh, depending on the pot, they're not really meant to hold uh, stuff in it, right? And so there can be a lot of room for these little crevices, holes, and pockets to reveal things and also to have interesting interactions with not only surface but uh, with form as well and so I think that's something that I gotta get more used to and this is a good example of a pot that ended up turning out pretty cool um, but there was moments where I wasn't too crazy about it right and so you can see here I'm just uh, uh, compressing that bottom and getting ready for the first pole It's a pretty good first pull. I always add uh, water after I do a pull sometimes. Uh, I think I do it pretty often, uh, maybe a little bit too much. If you notice that you can't really get the height at the beginning, uh, first go a little bit slower. I always say that. Uh, but you can also try to do something uh, which is not use as much water as what I do. I think uh, for me, I really like the flow. I love entering that butter, that butter moment, you know? Uh, and I feel like water for me uh, helps it out a lot. It also kind of weakens the form. Uh, and so a lot of times, if, you would just, if I would just not use as much uh, water and just go a little bit slower, I wouldn't have as many collapses happening on the forms. And so that's something I also got to start thinking about more uh, with these sort of forms. If I want to get tall, uh, sometimes maybe I have to pull back the brakes a little bit. And so these are sort of the, the things that you always got to be um, thinking about when it comes to ceramics is the efficiency and the potential, uh, at least in my, or maybe not ceramics, but in pottery, right? Like when you're throwing on a wheel, you can make a move that is efficient and it's clean and it does what it needs to do or you can make a move that has a lot of potential right and so that's it's sort of you have to weigh these options and you have to explore what you can sort of do with them and so that's that's something that I think is uh, pretty interesting you know that's at least some interesting when it comes to the realm of ceramics right you can see I'm getting a little bit better at making these top nodules too You can see I'm getting ready to do the, the pull. I, I went through it actually pretty quickly, you know, and so this is all about getting the right speed. And you can see that I totally messed up the speed. I was going way too fast. And so I have to sort of fix this, fix it here. And so I will do it a couple times. You can already see I ripped the hole in it. Yeah, you can see it's pretty messed up here. And so right now I'm trying to hold it steady and you can see that it slowly is just going to collapse in on itself i'm also doing the twist before it totally collapses and you can see right as it's done collapsing is when i finish the top of that pole and so i got pretty lucky uh with this pot actually uh, sometimes things work to like themselves out and you can see right here i'm just going to set it in place i don't like how it's like sort of sticking up there and so you can see I'm just <laughs> I'm just going to manhandle it and just freaking pit it in place, right? Uh, I wanted it to be a f total collapse, especially when it had that little hole. I think it looks a little bit more unified. Uh, obviously, you don't get the height out of it, but I think there's a good sense of drama uh, in this pot. And so, yeah, maybe one of these days I'll, I'll do like a slow motion of one of those moments, right? I feel like I could extrapolate on that a little bit more. Um, I think some things I can say about those moments is... Uh,
really try to save it, you know, don't get upset. Uh, it's okay to be, you know, actually get upset, but don't let being upset inhibit or prevent you from doing what you got to do, you know? Like that is like the most important thing is that you can just sit there and you can make the pot that you need to make. Uh, you're going to have days where it's, it's not going to be, the, you're not going to have those great days. And then these problems are going to be like right up in your face and sort of destroying you. But anyway, uh, my camera died, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. All the best and strong mentality. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.